Hello. There are lots and lots of 3D models and assets and motion capturing data out there on the internet. And one of the main portals and websites for uh, professional 3D models, etc., is Turbosquid. And uh, it's turbosquid.com. I'm not associated, affiliated, or whatever with them. I just. Uh, use this website and I created an account with them I uh, I appreciate their work and I hope they make money uh, in order to keep their stuff going uh, I'll type in mocap free and I get lots of motion capture files here which are free and most of them are in FBX maybe all of them FBX format which is totally easily digestible by Maya so let's um, choose one of them, weightlifting, for example, or what is this, uh, look down, or no, I'm not going to shoot anyone, uh, winner happy. Why not winner happy? Let's import it. And that's the one. And it lands in the scene like this. There's lots of fingers, a very nice skeleton indeed. I don't know who made that motion capture. Just great. Now I import under Windows, General Editors, Content Browser, under Modeling, Sculpting Base Meshes, one of the bipeds. For example, the obese character. Now I have two objects in the scene. One is that skeleton and the other one is the obese character. Now I want the obese character to do that dance. How do I do this? Well, first of all, you need to know that this is just a skin. It has no skeleton inside. So we need to create a skeleton. And since Maya 2017, I think, this is pretty simple. Really much simpler than before. You go to skeleton and go to quick rig and with this model selected and facing to the Z axis I think that's the default anyway you just press auto rig so you have a skeleton inside now which you don't need to see whatever and here you have that character thing uh, our character is called the Quick Rick character because we just Quick Ricked him. That's the obese man here with a skeleton inside. And the current source is the control rig. That's the rig we just automatically created. So basically, it's a rig which doesn't do anything. But we can exchange the, sh the source from control rig to the trooper which is the name of that one and all of a sudden we have that winner dance and I think it's quite sexy of course we can hide the original skeleton you have to adjust a few things because the obese man has thick arms so at the beginning for example the arms penetrate parts of the of the belly here or of the upper legs but that doesn't really matter for the fun we have with a skeleton which just uh, uses the um, FBX file we just downloaded and since it's so much fun to tune shade with Arnold 5.1 we'll tune shade him <laughs> 